Um, everything is like fully alive mm -hmm. and um, the ground uh, feels like a very supportive but not hard it feels light almost like i'm still on the cloud can you look at your feet in that space do you have feet yes mm -hmm. yes are you a female or a male female mm -hmm. perfect and how does the body feel in that space do you feel young strong and fit or older or a child I feel very light, like I'm a like light body. Mm -hmm. So maybe you have a body, but it's uh, not necessarily something that you need. You might have a body, but you don't necessarily need a body. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So you said that your senses are very amplified. The earth feels very alive. You feel very alive. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are there other elements like trees, vegetation, birds? Look around in that space. What what kind of landscape? What place is that? Yes, it's like overfilled with forestry. Um, I'm trying to make my way down a trail so I could find other people. Right mm -hmm. now, it's just me. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So you're walking on a trail, and it's, does it feel like a rainforest? Um, How would you describe that forest? Perhaps, yes. It's um, very, very dense. Um, a couple of colors, like here and there, with flowers, but mostly just a lot of green. And like all of the trees and the forest trees is very alive and, and aware of itself. Mm -hmm. And can you communicate with nature, with the trees? Are you able to receive information and send? Do you feel part of that awareness? Connect deeper with that being that you are in that space. And allow yourself to connect with your abilities, perhaps ways of speaking, communicating, thinking. Um. No, I feel still very alone on the trail. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm aware that nature is here to support me and everything is very alive and positive and i am most alive but it's like i'm on this trail searching okay very good very good so let's um find out where you're going let's move forward a little bit and this is sort of like in the movie we can close one scene up here in another scene where something important is happening for this being Okay. I'm sitting with a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. And are you um, at your home? Where are you? I'm just in the forest still and with a cup of tea on a table, wooden table. Beautiful. Taste the tea. Allow yourself to taste the tea in that space. Drink that tincture, that potent tea. And let it work for your system. Perhaps it has some properties that would be beneficial for you. Okay. It's very, like, a, it's a floral tea. There's even a whitish, pinkish, petaled flower floating on the top of it. Mm -hmm. And this makes me feel like I feel a sensation in my back body. Okay. Along your back, along the spine? Mm -hmm. Lower back, upper back, or is it just... just it just system? floated down into... Mm -hmm. It just floated down my back. Mm -hmm. And it's reassuring me that this tea is good for me right now. It was something that was, uh, like, here, waiting for me in the forest. Beautiful. Okay, drink it up, drink it up. I also would like you to see a mirror on the table. And I want you to take that mirror into one of your hands and look at yourself in that space and see how you look. Perhaps there are some details. What were you seeing in that mirror that reflects how you look? Share with me. Um, I'm like, I'm glowing. There's so much light that the mirror almost can't handle the light. <laughs> um, but there's a lot of light and... Um, still very like florally flowing long 
big locks flowing in the wind Mm -hmm. and a couple of flowers in my hair almost like I'm fairy like yeah I was gonna say are you wearing any gown like any dress um naked or just no um, just a lot of light light. like a lot of like light emanating from the lower body Mm -hmm. so you don't need really any physical human uh, dress or gown in that space Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in that reality perfect now that you have drawn that tea you said you feel um the sensations going down and a lot in your sacrum was it in the sacrum where are you feeling it now now yes in the sacral yes. mm-hmm. seems like forest is your home like you maybe live there you have all these different stops where you can have tea let's see what else happens to this it, it just feels very like everything feels very light and 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 flowy and like effortless yes uh-huh. yes so it doesn't take effort to move or to do anything yes right? mm-hmm. yes so there's no necessarily gravity let's see if you can fly let's see if you can lift off the ground Need that tea cup on the table and see if you can lift off <laughs> okay mm-hmm. i'm flying great <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be so free? Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so let's fly together and let's see what else is important for this fairy to experience. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see, this is her life, right? This is her place. This is where she lives. So I'm sure there is exciting things. Maybe she meets other beings. Maybe she is a protector of the forest. Who knows? So find out. I see a lot of other beings, um, a lot, a lot of other souls. Mm-hmm. Are they also light beings like you or different? I feel like most of them are clothed. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's get closer. Land there. If you want, disguise yourself as a human so you can blend better. Whatever feels right, you know what to do. Naturally. Um, tell me where you are. What kind of gathering is this? Um, I feel like it's a perhaps a celebration, but there there's a lot, a lot of people, um, and uh, no one's wearing shoes, and everyone's loving, you know, standing on the grass, and the grass is perfect and alive, and, and everyone's just loving, mm-hmm. loving just being out outside and just being present and. And no one has anything in their hands. No one has any gifts. No one has anything. It's, it's maybe like they were just waiting for me. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, very good. So you are the center of this gathering. So are they celebrating you? Let's find out. You have arrived. Uh, they're ready. There's a lot of, you said, human beings there. And they're just happy to be there. Let's find out what's the purpose of this gathering. Okay, um, I'm walking, I'm walking towards the end of the gathering because a lot of people I first greet, uh, there's no purpose in those interactions. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm, I'm driven to a specific group of this large group. Go there. And, um, Greeted by um, <laughs> I'm greeted by four people. Mm-hmm. Who are these people? I don't know. I was a sense to see them. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Okay. okay. Uh, connect with them deeper. So okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's greet them or they greet you, whatever way is natural in this environment. And let them communicate to you what is the purpose, connect to the energy, you know that in that space you are naturally attracted to whatever needs to happen in the communication. It's very comforting. There's two females and two males. Mm-hmm. The one female with long, she has, they all have long hair, but she has very long hair and she's reaching out to a to just admire me and admire the long journey I've taken to get here. And she even touches my hair uh-huh. and, and yeah, and then caresses my hair. And just, again, it's very 
welcoming, very assuring, and yeah. Is there energy does it remind you of like the idea of um, maybe a loving mother, or how would you define these two women? And yeah, like, like mentors. Yeah, these mentors four people are them. like these four people are like mentors, and it's maybe like four people that I've waited years and years and eons to see, and I finally. You found them. Yeah. You found them. So I'm sure you're overjoyed. Yes. Oh, okay. So um, there are two females. One touches you, greets you, welcomes you, reassures you that you're in the right place, that you have arrived. Yes. Uh -huh. And what about the men? Let's uh, look at them. Are they humans or are they other beings? Connect to them deeper. Connect to their abilities A one, a one male on my right hand side. He is most knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. He's the sage. Uh -huh. Yes, he's experienced um, like many different lifetimes across many different timelines. Mm -hmm. He's he's, so he's a multi-dimensionally experienced. Has lived many lives. Yes, uh -huh. and he's like. Uh, conquered many, 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 many obstacles. So he's, I don't know how to explain other than he's very well accomplished and respected in this community. He's like the most mm -hmm. respected, mm -hmm. even though everyone is equal. He's People secretly the most him. respected, yes. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> because of the fact that he encountered all of these lives and challenges. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this is like his victory realm, like at where we are all standing in the small group amongst the big group. This is like this is like victory for all of us to have made it. So here. you are there as well, and you're part of it. You've traveled here for eons. It seems like you are welcomed. You're part of this group for whatever reason, right? Yes. You were supposed to go into that group of four. Beings, people, yes. sages. Okay, let's find out the meaning behind. Let's find out if you're there to be initiated to be part of this, the circle as well. What is the purpose of this outside of greeting and celebrating? My heart feels very alive. Mm -hmm. It is, and and physically, right now it's beating mm -hmm. faster. Very good. Is your light body activated? Is this the reason why you're there? Perhaps, yes. Mm -hmm. It's it's a place that, yeah, I, I could just tell, like, I've waited years and years and years and years and years and years to come to. Okay. And mm -hmm. I've made it. Exactly. Allow your physical body to be as this light body. You can just activate your nervous system, your chakra system. All the meridians, the heart, but also the sacrum, the base chakra, love, this energy to travel up your spine and in every direction. You see the blessing of the union. I feel like I'm so protected within this group, like. Now that I've found them, after reaching them for so long, I won't ever leave them. Mm -hmm. And we spend eons together. It was, it, we were supposed to be together. <laughs> let's travel a little bit, you and this group, and let's find out what do you do together? Do you help other humans? I'm sure that beings like you have such potential, such intense beauty and ability to Tran um, transform, transmute any energies of low vibration. You can move mountains, you can create earths, you can do other things. What do you do? Let's follow this group. First, we're sitting on a mountain. I'm not even, I don't know where this mountain is, mm -hmm. but we're on a mountain, so it's the five of us. And Look, if you put any names there, if you call each other any names, I wonder if any names. 
Or maybe you, you don't use even words to communicate. Is that is the case sometimes? Yeah, there's no words. Um, there's more so it's all visual uh, connection. It's all visual. And we're on a mountain because we're looking down. Uh -huh. We're looking down. Okay, and what's down below the mountain? Um, it's our it's our project. It's it's something that we've been meant to do together. Okay. Okay. Do you know what you're building? What are you creating? We are we're looking down, and we see that there's a lot of like destruction on one half of the land, and then on the other half, there's a lot of good and a lot of potential, and mostly the the male who is the most courageous who's like a greek god he is he's directing all of us of where to look mm -hmm. we're all following his gaze and we are looking from right to left right to left right to left so describe to me the part that is more destroyed is it on the left side or on the right it's side? on the right side it's on the right side uh -huh. And by destroy, what do you mean, um, destroyer? What do you mean exactly? Is it physical? Is it mental? It's it physical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's really, it's really destroyed and, and black and decayed, and almost like it had been war stricken. Mm -hmm. It's it's like something out of the Hieronymus Hieronymus Bosch painting. Okay. okay. It's very dark. That's on the right side. No one is there though. It's just it's just a dark energetic field. Mm -hmm. It's abundant, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the left side are the people living there. Zoom into that. And let's see the details of the left side. Yes, there's people and there's a lot of growth and potential there. And it's warm and beautiful and bright, and again, the opposite of the right side, but it looks like there's younger ones trying to get too close. They're, they're getting too close to a barrier between what divides their beautiful side and the right side. They're getting too close. Mm -hmm. Why are they getting too close? There, there. It's like a, it's like a wanting. I see wanting and running, and and wanting and running from the younger people of the of this town of this community, and they're just maybe like wanting and running towards this barrier. Um, and they cross this barrier. Is it easy to cross? The the energetic field just pushes them mm -hmm. back. Perhaps is this the field that we've placed there? Okay, gotcha. yeah. that's just for their protection, yes. right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's talk, communicate with that um, being that is like a Greek god, Hercules. Uh -huh. and let's uh, find out more details about this dark place. Um, what is the purpose of, of obviously the protection we already know, um, but this this part that is destroyed. Um, if it was not protected, what would have, what would have happened? Let's see. There's more information coming from the sage that is explaining to you the project. Are you supposed to reclaim that space and make it life again? The dark field. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yes, it's it's a project that was that was placed there specifically for for the humans to to help them but the way they want to see it and the way they want to discover it is not going to help them like we have to interject we have to go down from the mountain we have to interject we have to help them mm -hmm. um yeah because they see what they see it as a destruction so it's not they see it as you no know, something they want to get to, something they want to grasp. They want to break through the the field. They want to break through the barrier to the other side. Mm -hmm. But again, we place that field there for a reason. It's not it's not their time. It's okay. not their time to see. Okay. We it's almost like we have to go down and like handhold them and, and guide them through the darkness. Okay. Let's see how this project unfolds. Obviously, 
these people are there, right next to this barrier on the positive side, but they need to be somehow supported as they pass through this darker side, okay? So there is something that happens, maybe it's like a passageway. I wonder um, what is the reason for them to be guided through that space with your support. Let's see how this project unfolds. Okay. What happens next? Let's find out. We swoop down, we fly down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we're there at the barrier and there's a big scene and they're very, very upset with us. They, they're very upset with us because they haven't seen us in so long. Humans? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're very so they know you. Yeah. They're before. very upset with us. They're very because now the the like desire and the need and the wanting has built up for so long. Again, they're about to break through the barrier. They're very, very upset with Agitated. us. Yes, uh -huh. agitated, and we are there, and you know. But there is no power to break through it, right? They no. don't have the physical, or mental, or yeah. psychic ability. So it's that. making them mad. It's making them insane. Okay, so they're very impatient and irritated. Okay, mm -hmm. so they're ready to pass for that. Yes. Okay, are you helping them pass through it? Now, next stage. Now we lower ourselves because we're very tall intimidating beings so we lower ourselves to their level mm -hmm. physically as well right yes uh -huh. physically we lower ourselves and we calm them with lowering ourselves and being more present we calm them they calm mm -hmm. feel that calmness feel the community the irritation disappears and connect to that safety, come from the beings, mm -hmm. the rescue has come. So they're now united, right? Like they have the common goal. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. There's maybe about, not too many, perhaps this light side that they live in is not, it's definitely not a city. It's more of just like a, countryside town very pleasant very very peaceful peaceful but for some reason like 10 to 20 of the younger ones specifically maybe 10 to 20 of you they cause trouble yeah, yeah they're very when they're you very look at this town this countryside um, does it look like a city from the past or future or different dimension or different um dimension of earth connect deeper to this place i'm just curious to see I want to say the past, the past definitely the past. Yeah. It's it's perfect earth. It's lush and untouched and beautiful. And the houses just seem to be made of like like wood or clay or just um, very much yeah. in harmony with nature. There's yeah. no toxicity. Yeah, from metals from any like agriculture or yeah. industrial activities. Uh -huh. Yeah, nothing. Just very pure, very pure earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very pure, but um, are you guardians of Earth too? Connect to um, your purpose there. Part of it, because part of it is to support humans, right? In this transition, they're about to cross. It seems that they're supposed to cross through this darker side with protection, or maybe integrate. But there is something else. We'll find out. Yes, there are many projects on the Earth that you are involved in. It seems like, and this is one of them that we're watching. Yes, yes, yeah. We're like we're basically like the the angels, or yes, guardians protectors fathers and mothers and we're we're here to greet them again they've they've seen us once before and we like gave them a prelude of of the barrier because they have a certain barrier mm -hmm. and then we just disappeared so it's been so long and now we're finally back and Again, they're just they're upset. I want to say it's more so twenty of them. There's just twenty, like a solid group of twenty people, 
who are just so irritated and they've been waiting and they've been waiting and now here we are. Okay, that's okay. So let's see what happens next. So the leader basically breaks the barrier, this energetic field that was like, it was like, um, it was like a film, like a, this dense film fog that was placed on the physical atmosphere. And then he... Can he restore the fertility of the earth? Or what, what happens next? Why was this barrier there? Yeah, he just, he removes it. So oh, okay. the, now we're standing there on the side and the group of 20 are to our right and they're viewing this decayed, horribly dark, energetic field before them wow. they've never seen mm -hmm. they've never well, seen the field is, yes right? yes is, is this another part of this town you said that was destroyed that was really decayed how would you describe but is this I'm, I'm curious if this is like a depiction of what could happen to this town without maybe consciousness or self-awareness let's see what this dark side represents i'm curious yes yes it's, Deeper, yes, it's the it's the right side. It's the right dark side, and they're seeing it, and they're just no one is moving mm -hmm. because they're looking into. It's like they're looking into a, a big void or a big black hole for the very first time. It's like it's a cosmic moment, mm -hmm. and the the leader of the five of us he steps aside after he removes the barrier. He's he's stepped aside and. We're all just viewing, and what's the energy coming off of it? Connect a little bit deeper for the information. It's dark and scary, and yet no one seems afraid. Like everyone's just more so in awe. You know, no one's running away. It's it's almost alluring in a mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. He showed you this site for a reason, right? Everybody able to, to see this. Now everybody is just witnessing and in awe. And it's like a spectacle. He said it's like a void or a black hole. So black holes are destroyers, but they're also creators. They function in both ways, right? They yes. have ability to devolve. So I wonder what is the function of this of this black hole of this void? We can also move forward a little bit to find out what happens next. So are you supposed to? We're all walking almost as though we're like walking through a tunnel. Mm -hmm. through so you're this, moving through it now. Yeah? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Like it's a dark, like it's a dark long tunnel, but we're aware that we can't stray too far from this tunnel because there's like even darker entities and objects and, and things that can physically, well, not physically harm me, but it will. They can destroy these people, right? If they come too close to the wall. Uh -huh. Yes. So this, this takes a lot of like focus and, and um, concentration in order to make sure that you stay safe as you pass through the tunnel. Yes, yes. So are you guiding all this group of people through yes. this tunnel? All of you are going, right, to another side? Yes, I'm even I'm holding someone's hand. And okay. we're Feel the energy of that person and tell me if it reminds you of anyone who you know from this side. Um, yes, mm -hmm. so someone... Uh, old, old ex-boyfriend came to my mind, Zach, a very, like, timid. Okay, so you're helping him. Mm -hmm. Very good. Does he feel safe with you? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay. Let's pass through this tunnel, and let's see what's on the other side. Did everybody make it? Everyone yes, it? Mm -hmm. yes. So now we're just in a field of black darkness it's it's very 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 dark and we're gonna have to find the light <laughs> um 
Is, I, I, is the guide, is the angel, the Hercules like being, is he there with you? I'm, I look to him and mm-hmm. I'm asking for guidance. It's like I'm asking like... What do we do next? Yeah, and is it okay? Is it okay to like reveal our light? Because we, we can, we can just go back to our light bodies and elevate upwards. Mm-hmm. Why don't we do that if that's appropriate? Okay. So now we're in real form, the five of us, these lights, like spirit bodies, we're in the form we're supposed to be in. Mm-hmm. Does it remind you of any like mythology or images that you have seen? You mentioned fairy, right? Other beings, do they also look like fairy beings or maybe from other mythological? If anything like, like uh, Galandriel, I believe that's her name from Lord of the Rings because she represents like an elf queen and she's one of the two females. Mm-hmm. That, the one that was played by Kate Blanchett, right? Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah, she has just very long, flowy, beautiful, beautiful hair. She's glowing um, and she's like, um, again, a, a new grace, sister. Right? Yes, uh-huh. pure grace. Okay. Okay. So now you're in true form, true representation. Um, you can see in the dark, can you? Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Tell me what's available for you to see in this group, in that space. Right now, I see the five of us, and I see that we are like we're so happy to be back to our real form again, to be the light um, in this very dark space. We're like we're just congratulating ourselves by looking at ourselves, and we're not even like concerned with the twenty humans beneath us we're just we're having our moment right now mm-hmm. and we're just so happy because we know we're gonna have um some work to do and we're going to be changing these these people's lives beneath us like almost like huh, they don't even know what's coming like mm-hmm. oh man this is about to shift and you know so we're having a great moment amazing so you're working together right yes and then that it's, brings a yeah. lot of joy and that element of surprise uh, yes that these people will experience later as it unfolds yes uh-huh. yeah. and so i wonder these 20 people can we look at them a little bit more closely what they are uh, why is there 20 of them is there any connection to, for you in this life to any of them? I'm just curious if there's any significance around the number and those particular 20 people. Mm-hmm. Particularly, they're, they're just so lost. and They never took good control of themselves on the, on the light side, on the beautiful, you know, like town that they were given like i see Mm -hmm. yeah they they just completely denied all the beauty and uh, possibilities opportunities yes Uh yes they're more so lost seems like yeah yeah they're not they're not doomed they're just they're just lost they're they haven't woken up you know they they haven't woken up I understand. Yeah. So there's no self awareness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. But for some reason, they were meant to go to the other side. Did the rest of the village also join, or is just these twenty? It's just the this twenty. Side? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just the twenty. Interesting. So these guys on the other side, they're doing well. They don't need to go through that tunnel. Yes. The, the yes. twenty. Okay. Um. So let's see how this this training happened. How the how the guidance sources twenty uh, people. Okay. Uh huh. Unfolds. Let's. Let's see what happens next. It's really yes. So it's uh, like the collective consciousness between the five of us has completely just been even more solidified after, you know, after he broke down, we'll just call him he, mm-hmm. he broke down the barrier and we crossed over the other side. The time has just shifted from when we first met, from when we sat on the mountain looking down below and now we're actually in, in true form. We're really helping others. So like the collective consciousness so between the five. Action. Yes, mm-hmm. everything is in action. And I've never felt more in unison with other beings 
before in my life. They're so clearly my family. And this is so clearly this like, your galactic family. yeah, this is so clearly what was supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. And so we remain in the light and these like light bodies. And we basically, we refuse, we refuse to come down to their level again. And it's almost like they're, they're begging beneath us they're because they're starting to get scared they're realizing we're the only sources of light and they're in a very very dark foreign mm -hmm. place foreign land they've they've only seen their pure beautiful earthy land before all of their lives and now they're so that a new space doesn't have much form yet How no no it, it's like a void it's like a void yeah you know, we're like in a black like void uh, they can feel they can feel earth beneath them but it's like it's not it's not welcoming it's earth not it's tangible like too right it's like yeah. it seems like um anything can happen at any second yeah the earth can just go from underneath their feet it's like they it's almost like half of their foot is being supported by earth and then the other half isn't and so, it's so like they're not like learning how to walk again, right? In a new way. Yeah, yeah. They're all they're all learning, and they're all very, very, very scared. Yes. And how is this learning process? So, from what I understand, you guys can manifest things and do things very easily. You can create barriers. You can fly. You have a lot more flexibility, malleability in your uh, expression and your awareness. And you are working together, so you know that in community there is that strength. And it seems like these twenty uh, people, they haven't really worked together um, before. They're like newborn; they have no idea how to create, how to manifest. Are you supposed to teach them how to manifest things from the void? Let's connect deeper to the teaching. Okay. There, there is still, they're still so scared. So I, so I come trust, down. Huh? Yeah, I come down and I and I kneel, and I'm I'm begging them to quiet down because some are shouting, some are losing their minds, some are very, 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 very scared. Mm -hmm. So I come down, um, not into human form. I just come down to kneel and and ask them calmly please please calm down please calm down do they feel you do they listen yes emanate that peace and that calmness so that you can wrap around them one blanket and they can feel the energy emanating from you calming them down mm -hmm. yes okay so it helped Yes. And now can you communicate with them like the purpose of that? What is the purpose of that, of this journey? The purpose is to is to give them tools. We're here we're here to teach, but they've just now quieted down. It's it's taken a long time. It's taken several hours. It's not taking any energy from me. Mm -hmm. We have patience. Okay, very good. So this doesn't affect your group or you at all? No. Uh -huh. Okay, very good, very good. That must be a wonderful feeling where you can just experience other people's expressions and it doesn't have anything to do with you. You can still know exactly who you are. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they're finally quiet and receptive. And we take them for a walk to really come to know that this ground is not so solid. But as a reminder, they will not fall through this like void, even though it looks like a void. They're not going to fall through to somewhere, <laughs> you know. They'll they'll be fine. So we're trying to teach them the terrain, and and 
some are still untrusting, others are kind of laughing. And we're just, again, guiding them through. And just, again, like you said, like just baby steps, just learning how to walk right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And building trust, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Making them feel safe, just like a parent. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. So the energy has shifted. They're much more receptive. They're much more relaxed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what happens next? Let's move forward a little bit. Okay. No. So it's still very, very, very dark. And the only light you can see is from our light bodies. So and the center is in the heart. Well, just all over, uh, all so over. Mm -hmm. Yes, so there's enough light for them to see now. Mm -hmm. um, we're we're making it so we're making the light expand even more and more mm -hmm. and more, so they can understand what's beneath them, and they can understand even though there's nothing around and this is a void, like there's no trees, there's no sky. Sometimes it feels like there's no earth beneath them. There's absolutely nothing, even though there's that. Is this a different dimension of earth? Uh, likely, yes. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. okay. Yes. So this dimension is not available to all human beings. Correct. But these were the 20 that just were so insistent to like break through, break through, break through, break through. And they wouldn't calm down and they were they clearly started disrupting the peace on the good side on the left side you know they started mm -hmm. disrupting mm -hmm. okay. and this was our mission to like kind of finally satisfy that need that urge that wanting um to guide them through to show them what it is what the darkness is in order for them to be able to go back and and basically shut up and you know stop disrupting the peace on on the good land <laughs> so in that space that is void, it seems like nothing really grows. You said there's no sky, there's nothing, there's a no body of water, there's nothing. So um, I'm sure it can eventually get boring if you cannot create anything there, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. So what happens next? Did they create? Did the curiosity of these people get satisfied, or do they want to come back? Let's see what of the story unfolds. Okay. They're coming to understand that, like, it's okay for there to be nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, that that nothingness is nothing to fear. <laughs> um, and I feel like that was, that was the lesson. That is actually a space in itself where things are life. They just don't have a physical form. Feel that space for a moment and tell me, is that space a life for you? How do you perceive that space? It's um like it's like a it's like a beautiful memory that doesn't like emotionally affect me because I'm with these uh, because I'm with my family who it's it's taken me so long to greet them. It's that's why I'm able to be in this space and just be like, well, I'm here for others now, you know? Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, very good. So it doesn't have that effect, uh, the same effect as it has on these 20 people. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. They're definitely beginners, yes. <laughs> <laughs> are they ready to go back? What happens next to them? They are... Um, they're... See. Yeah, they've been ready to go back. Yeah. <laughs> they've been ready. Yeah. Their family. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So they ask you to go? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. They've been ready. They've had enough. They only needed a couple of minutes, but it's been it's been hours and hours and hours. As they are they better suited to come back to the community and have a purpose other than being the rebellious 20? Uh, yes, yes. They're they know what they're meant to be doing. Can we connect with all of them and see what they're meant to be doing? What is their function in the community? Okay. 
So coming down and kneeling down before Zach, Mm -hmm. I see Zach and he's big and bright and, and jolly and he's just meant to cook amazing food mm-hmm. and help others um, and and give up his search for the dark void. Mm-hmm. He's and, and I ask him, do you take the vow to give up the search? And he says yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So he will not approach the barrier again because we will place the barrier up again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he's back. And then I kneel before... Claire Mm -hmm. and she is like slender and big eyed and very still like lost looking but her purpose is to go back and to take care of the kids and then I kneel down before Dawn and she has long brown hair and like too skinny um she she's to go back and to, and to clean mm-hmm. yeah she's okay. going to be assigned to clean and then i kneel before he's kind of scared to look into my eyes but he's happy that this chapter is ended and he vows to not search mm-hmm. again. Mm-hmm. And he is to go back and he's going to be a great talker. Like he's going to communicate like therapeutically with others. Mm-hmm. So that's the purpose on David's life. Mm-hmm. Yes. And he goes back. So they have these realizations as you kneel in front of them, yes. right? They went through this experience. Okay. So I kneel before. And he is happy that this chapter has ended. He praises all of the stars. And he's very, 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 very happy. He's to go back. And he's also to cook. He's a great cook. Mm-hmm. And he assumes this role with joy and ease. And he goes back. Mm-hmm. Then I approach... He's also very, very, very happy. This chapter has closed. And he's glowing. And he's to go back. And he he knows he's to help the land and to really, like, work with the land. He's very, very good and strong. Mm-hmm. So he's he's going to be keep, a keeper of the land. Yeah, keeper farmer. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And he's happy to assume this role. And he goes back with ease. And I kneel before, and she's she has very very short hair. Still, she is still rosy in the cheeks. She's um, reluctant to look into my eyes, but. When she does, she's happy. Mm-hmm. And she's at peace for the first time. And she's also glad this chapter has ended. She is to go back. She is to assume like more of a management position among the community and to really organize, organize events, organize daily activities to keep people focused and living good lives. Mm-hmm. So they have variety. Mm-hmm. Yes. This work, right? Yes, yeah. variety. Variety is needed in this community. And she's great with organizing everything. So she's going to go back and she'll be the organizer of the town. Mm-hmm. So like a mayor, perhaps. Yes. And she goes back with ease. But I kneel before his short brown hair. Also very sharp, also ready to get to business. But I tell him there's a different plan for him. He's going to be a great family man, and he's going to have a great big family. And he goes back as a father. Mm -hmm. And then I see 
and she's very like wow she's like ready to like live life I still see that wild side to her but she agrees that this chapter has ended and she's ready to start anew and uh she goes back and she's going to help out in the brewery she's going to help out Norbert in the brewery Beautiful. Here we go for the whole list. Yes. So now that this project has come to completion, are you going back as well and closing that, that void and putting the protective energetic cap over that space? What happens with that space? Next? That space just like disappears like Uh it just completely disappears as almost it was just like you know what is real what is not real what is real it's almost like that it never happened and now they're they're back to their lives and we're back up the mountain and it's again it's as if it had never happened okay okay great so you but you know it did you had the experience and you all had experience guiding these people through that dark night of the soul yes for lack of the better term so that they could have these realizations right what is their purpose Uh okay okay very good and now that you all connecting to this leader of your collective um what's the conclusion did you all um fulfill your your roles in that project What's happening on that mountain? Do you have another project? Do you just go from place to place where you need it and help? Let's see how your life unfolds. Yeah, we're just, <clears throat> the five of us are just to stay together and to continue to cultivate these deep, this deep connection between the five of us. Like mm-hmm. we're to cultivate what we have. And it's like the next project is not mine. It's not, it's not there because we know we receive it, you know, like when we need it. So um, there's like no timeline for us. It's mm-hmm. just, mm-hmm. it's just being there, being together and being support for one another. And how do you cultivate that relationships? Do you have the relationship? Do you have any rituals? Let's see what else you do in that space together in order to support and grow to expand yes so i see the five of us sitting together and holding hands and we're all again because there's no words we're all just like connecting with our eyes and really being there with each other's eyes and like really like like learning every single detail about each other's eyes so we're able to communicate the best zoom into the pupils of one of the beings there and um See if you can depict any details. Well, um, I've never really seen yellow, or well, that's the that's not the people. The people would be black, but I see yellow around. You mentioned that the, the, the inside, yeah. Oh uh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I see. I see a very, very tiny pupil with like again yellow, like gold. It's it's glowing. It's mm-hmm. it's. Mm-hmm. It's an eye like I've never seen before. Mm-hmm. So your communication happens through eyes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's yes. how you send the information you receive. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Okay. So I'm like learning every single detail of this person's eyes. And this is a, a woman, you know, not, not the Galadriel type, but she's another woman who's very, very similar, um, long, flowy, like brown hair and like like a flower crown on her head. She's very like, just again angelic, you know, absolutely out of this world. And and to like study each detail of her eyes, like a privilege. It's such a pleasure. Um, so yeah, we're sitting together and we're learning from each other's eyes. And and that one leader of the group, he decides what assignment you're going to take next, from what I understood. Or who decides that? Do you all get the information downloaded? 
Mm -hmm. It's collective. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's no hierarchy. I feel it's only my perception of what others have told me of him, of, again, like he's conquered many worlds and many obstacles that no one, no one ever has. So that's just my perception. But there is absolutely no hierarchy here. We all are, we all just like receive it. Like it's just downloaded. Like what we need to do next in that moment is just received. We're so connected. Like, so in that space, time, reality where you are, there is no death, right? Obviously you don't eat, you don't drink, you don't consume anything that has to do with sustenance of the body. Or is there any um, anything that, because you said you have patience, you don't ever run of energy. Correct. Uh -huh. Is there a way, how do you connect to source? We connect through our, our rituals, through holding hands, through communicating with our eyes, um, but specifically through our chants. Mm -hmm. Chants, okay. And I mean, that would mean that's the only time we use our voice because we're never using our voice. Mm -hmm. We don't need to, but when we do use that, that throat chakra, it's only for the highest purpose. So it's almost like a propeller. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we're propelling from our throats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I think this is enough information for us right now from the life of this being that is pretty much eternal from what I'm understanding. I just see us like all in a circle, like holding hands mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and connecting. So you're like the keeper of that. You're part of that um, that circle, the keepers. Yes. Yeah, the keepers, yes. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. So let's uh, leave the collective. Let's drift away from this collective, drift and float from that life. Leaving this being there to continue on her journey. And we are leaving the, her to continue our own path. And I would like to bring forward again personality of Nina once again and return and integrate Nina's consciousness into her body because I would like to ask some questions. Do I have permission to ask questions? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So Nina has come to me with a lot of distress and irritation, and lots of uh, chapters of her life that seem to be still affecting her, even though she has been on her spiritual path. And um, there is a lot of struggle. And I was wondering uh, if the story has helped heal some of these um, energies from the past, how we can help her close these timelines related to guilt, related to abandonment. Uh, from what I understand, her experience with the collective was absolutely reassuring that she's worthy, that she's loved, that she is a powerful part in the process of keeping the safety on earth. So is that her purpose? She has asked me a few questions, and one of them was, what is her life purpose? Yeah, yeah, to protect the, the safety, to be one of the good people, to be to be the light in a very, very dark world. This world is very, very dark. Mm -hmm. Is that how Mia perceives the world? Where is that perception coming from? Let's connect deeper into that. Does this come from her personal experience? It comes from being raised Jehovah's Witness and knowing that God was going to come down and Armageddon was going to happen. And, and then after Armageddon, then a paradise would come. And then I came to understand that God is not outside. Um, and I do not believe in that story anymore. And humans are to blame for the current condition of the earth. We are the ones to blame. And I will not partake in that. Okay. Amiya still seems to be acting like she believes into that story. That she says she's not buying into. Yet her life seems to still be full of confusion. I wonder. Uh, if we can do a scan of her brain, 
and her nervous system using that uh, light body energy that she has access to from this being to help her wire her brain and neurological net so she can create new connections, new synaptic connections in her brain. They're more conducive towards being a conductor of that light, of that gatekeeper, peacekeeper. Let's just kind of clear the fogginess and let's find out if there's any blockages in the body, physical, mental, emotional. Let's do a deep scan. We use that ability to interpenetrate. I would like to see where Mia is self sabotaging, creating these blocks in her life that make her feel like she's trapped. When you asked about where I'm blocking myself emotionally and energetically, um, well, I feel like most of the time spent here in the bed, I've been holding my sacral area, my solar plex area. So I have my left hand and my solar plex and my right and my sacral. And um, I feel definitely more comfortable in my body than I did earlier. Um, like when I was in the car driving over here, when I was in the car, I felt very... Again, like I wanted to jump out of my skin. Like I was just very <sighs> furious. Let's bring the collective effort from that experience that you have had on the moment ago. And let, uh, let them assist in clearing all the blockages. So open this so that you know, protect. There's nothing to protect. There's nothing to hide. Allow yourself to be visited about these energies from the collective to help pass through your sacrum, your solar plexus and anywhere else, if necessary, to clear these chakras. Are the chakras clearing? Do you feel the difference? Yes, I feel just a lot more light and um, connected and present. Mm -hmm. But oftentimes, the clearing process takes place during our sleep. So allow yourself to be open and relax and give yourself a few days for the clearing to complete, to take place. I would like to connect to some of the stories of the past to help also with the healing and clearing. Um, you mentioned Nikki and Andy. Were they part of this group of 20 um, that came into that dark void to receive lessons? Mickey was, but I did not see Andy. Mm -hmm. Is the relationship with Mickey now clear? Connect to that. You already told me before that she was very bright and she came back happily to the life on the side of the town. Connect to your story with her in this lifetime. And let's see if there's anything else we need to clear. We need to forgive. We need to let go. Then talk to me if you need assistance in the clearing. Yeah, I still see her like very bright. And the last time I had seen her, she had always talked about having her hair like down to her butt. Like she was just going to let it grow, grow, grow. And yeah, she's definitely done that. But it's like a lot more flowy now. Like there's more defined like waves in her hair. And um, she's like allowed herself to wear a little bit of like bright lipstick because she finally found a good brand. <laughs> So she's like glowy and rosy and just effervescent, yeah. And what about you? Seeing her in front of you, are there any uh, threads connecting you energetically with her? Do a body scan and are there any um, tentacles, connections, branches connecting your field energy field with her? Let's make sure we cut these. When you seal the openings, to make sure that your energy field is no longer affected by stories from the past. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. It was like very easy. Yeah. Great. Great. So we let her energy flow. What this simply means is, is that we are 
bringing our power back and the power center is in your solar plexus. This is the center of action in this world so that we don't run around scattered. We can actually take the right proper action, right? Mm. Based on right action, mm -hmm. Buddhist. That's right. <laughs> And when we are emotionally disempowered, we have these connections with other people, they will have an impact on how we act in the world because the energy is dispersed. So we'll do that with other people in your life to make sure that we activate for your power center in your soul. Let's bring your, your mother, Helen, into the picture as well. Okay. And scan your body for me and see if check if there are any connections in your etheric body physical mental emotional then we'll do the same we unplug all the umbilical cords or the <laughs> cords that you <laughs> see in that space yes allow yourself to disconnect from from them from these cords from her in particular close seal the openings and feel the, the pulsation of your solar plexus grow as you do the clearing. It's reclaiming back your power. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for doing the work. And we thank your mother for playing that role in your life so you can learn so well. Yes. So we let go with ease, right? Mm -hmm. And. We have also Jeff, right? With Jeff, we have complex relationship in this yes. um, lifetime. Let's bring him forward with the idea that you know we allow people to be who they are. We don't judge them, right? We don't need to judge them. We can have them experience their own life the way they choose. And what we do, we consciously clear our energetic pathway all these connections, so we'll do the same with chat. Okay. Feel free to share where, where the tentacles were, if there are any places in particular, was it all over the body? Feel it more so like around my collarbone and my throat area, maybe signifying, you know, I never like got to express or I never get to express like, how I really feel about him mm -hmm. and how how he's hurt me. Mm -hmm. Let yourself purge all of it energetically. I feel like uh, tinglings and pulsings in certain areas of the body. Mm -hmm. And right now I still feel it in my the lower half of my throat and around my collarbone. So we welcome these energies. They are bringing light back the full vibrancy. Of expression that is Mia. That's the goal. We still have Andy that we haven't really uh, looked at. Let's bring his energy forward, okay? Bring him into your field and scan your body and allow yourself to connect to him. energetically to those memories, emotions um, that you've been processing for a while now. And Cut the cords as well, and I just have to purge and seal the openings. And I love these energy to drift away once you clear it. Yes. Mm. Please share with me what's happening. It was like a flood of, of memories and a lot of anger. Um, but just, you know, like, uh, just full acceptance and, like, tossing it aside. I just see an image of, like, me, like, scooping, like, water and, like, tossing it aside, scooping water and, like, tossing it aside. Like, like just tossing it aside. Yeah. Is it gone? Is it still happening? He's gone. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Let's plug you and turn you on into your power center. What is the power center within you now that you can feel yourself much lighter? My navel center, definitely. It's beautiful. Yes. Let's turn it on. You can see yourself um, turning the dial 
left or right, or however it is in your space. Turn the dial so that you turn to your authentic frequency and turn it up. And feel the amplification of that in your body, in your mind, in your energy field, like a sphere growing. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm very bright. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does it feel good to be in, in your consciousness now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Anything else we should resolve today? I know there's a lot of questions about relationships and expressing yourself um, essentially or in, you know, in sort of a erotic form, there is a guilt around, but I want to make sure that we clear that to help Mia feel more at ease with herself. Any advice from her self? Mm. Mm. The advice would be to just manage the emotions around sex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How can how can we help Mia manage the emotions? What would be a good exercise or permission slip? Modality. Mm. So there is no problem with sex. It's just all the emotions that were associated with past events that was causing the problem, right? So now that we have that um, energy clear, I want to make sure that we close these timelines completely. So visualize yourself sitting in a room like a rotunda. It's a round shape, You're sitting in a center, okay? And these timelines connected to these sexual situations from the past, these encounters, close these doors. You have thousands of doors in this rotunda shape room. And whatever you're done with, close the door. You can use your mind, you can use your eyes. You have the powerful eyes, right? Yes. From the collective, close them. Close them all, and then you decide using the dial in your solar plexus which doors you will open, mm -hmm. or new doors rather. Yeah, I see a and lot of new one. doors. Yes. Very good. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. So we're bringing back that awareness that we decide what we continue or we discontinue. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. So without carrying that emotional um, load. We can enjoy sexuality, right? We can enjoy any situation without being biased about it, without being angry or, or um, disempowered. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to touch a little bit on like the, the father figure um, challenge um, that came in this session and we were talking earlier. I uh, really would like to see you always connected to that being from the collective that represented that sage, that Hercules. And so that you always feel the protection and support. So anytime you connect with a man, a man, you will take advice or ask the advice, if necessary. If this is an appropriate person to connect with, you know, knowing that you have that part of your collective with you, maybe you prefer to ask a woman, but I feel it's important to bring the man into that space, trusting that that sage from your galactic family will help you determine who is the right candidate. Yes. Mm -hmm. So knowing that you're never alone, this galactic family is always with you. Because so you're not alone in this process. Mm -hmm. of making decisions, new decisions in a new way. And a new way meaning supported, right? Meaning um, never judged. Yes. Mm -hmm. so before we finish this session, is there any other area of life that Nina needs advice? Clarity, safety, protection. For her to feel very safe for the next several weeks until her own energy field grows, expands, so that she can actually anchor her consciousness in the new way, in a new way that is full of support, full of empowerment, full of self worth. And it will protect her just like this barrier that she 
has seen today from going back to the old ways. We're going to use the same image, right? So that there is this boomerang effect and there's no going back to the old way, to the void, to repeat the lessons. Can we do that? Yes. Very good. Yes. Yeah, no more void. 